Jayco 184BH, a little swift here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Real, real sharp camper, top selling trailer um, from the top selling brand out there. And hey, you get a nice clean late model one that's uh, used here, so you don't gotta pay the new price tag for one. Um, can't find anything that scares me about this. It is super clean, it's well kept. Can't find nicks, dings, blemishes. Uh, no signs of any leaks, seams, failures or anything. It's just a great little camper. Um, front window here to give you a lot of extra light and you're gonna like that in these little trailers that you're gonna find more windows in these Jayco's and they all open for ventilation. That's another big difference in this little single axle uh, micro camper segment. This, this small little um, seven and seven and a half wide trailer segment uh, we haven't really seen it for a long time. Fleetwood uh, uh, did a lot of work in this camper segment, and then it kind of faded away. And all of a sudden, in about 2011 or 12, it showed back up again, and I really think it's here to stay. Uh, you know, this thing's 2,700 pounds. It's minivan towable, you know? You don't have to have a big F-150 to take your family camping anymore, and that's kind of the whole point. Uh, we've got uh, uh, nicer radial tires on here. These are 14-inch radials versus commonly found 13-inch non-radials in this class. We have a galvanized steel wheel well so that if you do experience a tire blowout, you have like a, a shield here, a good layer to help keep you protected uh, so that this belted radial doesn't bust up the inside of the camper. We have had that, we've seen that happen, our go call a service department. And they took preventative measures, you know, they put the mud dauber screens and things on here to keep your wasps and hornets and things from trying to build a nest in there. That's a big safety fire hazard. Uh, a big difference on these Jayco's as compared to almost anything else in this segment of the market is that this is not constructed to a lesser degree from their bigger J flights. It's just a smaller version of it. Same wall, roof, floor constructions. You can still get on the roof. You can still walk up there to clean it seasonally. Very few of these smaller campers have that capacity because most of them skimp on the construction. But the funny thing is your Jayco's come in less money. Um, long story short, they were just willing to take a smaller margin on it. This is the true entry level family camper. And once you experience the superior build and quality of a Jayco, they have confidence that you'll move up in their family over the years. And, you know, statistically, I can show you where that's been true. Because they built this thing so well, people do have, still have that confidence in it. The 184BH, little 18-foot uh, box. We do have a couple single bunks next to us. The dinette here can fold down into a 7.5-foot wide bed, so you can create a large sleeping space there. If you do need an extra sleeping space, you pull these cushions off, and this is like a whole extra bunk right here. Nobody ever thinks of that. They see cushions, they think, oh, that's a bench or a sofa. You can still sleep there, and it's frankly bigger than a lot of bunks. It is bigger than the bunks, now that I think about it, at least no smaller. Um, AM, FM, CD stereo here. You do have an auxiliary input and a USB input and even an SD card if you bring extra music and you want to, uh, you know, if you don't get good AM, FM reception. You know, stuff like the grade of wood they use in their cabinetry here, it's just, it's just a better grade of wood. It's stronger, you know. Stuff is screwed together in this. It's not stapled. That's why these are lasting longer. Um, all original owner's manuals, by the way. I like to point that out. Uh, a lot of these micro campers, the air conditioner is an upgrade you have to pay extra for. Um, even, even though this is used, so it's kind of a moot point. The, the thing that I'm getting at is this is a standard object in here. It is not one of those things where the guy builds it sometimes and doesn't build it the other. You get consistency with uh, that uh, re repetition and cookie cutter construction. They also have bigger table in here, but you do notice it's folding legs, so you can take it inside or outside if you're so inclined. All your soft goods are still basically brand new. They still have that nice sheen to them. Um, you know, that front window again, letting in extra light. These overhead cabinets here, you don't normally find in this class. And again, not a whole lot of stuff has ever been used up here. Um, I think these folks were just looking to go into something a little bit bigger. I, I've been out of the office for two days, so I'm playing catch up. And uh, normally I kind of go through these one by one so that I really make sure I know the history of each trailer. And I apologize, I've just, I've had a lot on my docket today and I've struggled to keep them straight a little bit. Um, bigger three, three and a half cubic foot refrigerator freezer that is gas electric. Um, it's basically like the same type of fridge you'd find in a lot of truck campers. Um, good extra storage space down here. Big cabinet space under the sink, which is, uh, you know, anytime you can get any sort of storage space in these little campers, it's good. And I think there's as much or more in this little 18 foot Jayco as you find it in a lot of like 23, 24 foot ugh, traditional campers. That hinge is like brand new. Now, you see we have a hanging bar here, but a shelf. It's because you can remove these shelves if you're so inclined. 
So this is all adjustable shelf space right here. It's a very good amount of storage space. Um, the uh, big thing with these Jayco's, when these little micro campers started showing up, they had what's called a wet bath. That's when the toilet is in the shower. And I understand that for space restrictions, sometimes you got to do that. But if you can get away from it, nobody would want that in their bathroom. So you actually have a full uh, bath here with lots of leg room. So even a, a, an adult can still use this thing. And notice that we still have a true skylight and a uh, vent in here instead of um, just shoving the vent above the shower. And of course, the two single bunks back here in the corner. Um, bottom bunk does have that ventilating safety window right there. Um, even if you don't need bunk space, a lot of folks bought this trailer for the storage space those bunks would offer in a little 18 foot box. Not everybody wants a big 35 foot triple slide thing that takes a three quarter ton truck. Some folks just have an SUV. You know, that's the everyday vehicle. And it's nice that to know that you do have a way to go camping a couple times a year without breaking the bank and without needing a brand new dedicated towing vehicle. And this is clean. You, I mean, it, I, I'd be willing to bet that if we park this over on the new lot, we could probably convince some people it was brand new and just held over because it is that clean. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody.